Hey there, Ophiuchus. Welcome back or welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to this general Meh general energy reading for you uh, this is a timeless reading even though it is being channeled and recorded during the month of september it does not necessarily have to resonate and the month of september for you whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates then that's the message for you in that moment also this is a general reading yes so please keep that in mind place this into your life as it fits um, we could be speaking to a cross watcher if you're watching for an ophiuchus in your life or an ophiuchus energy in your life please um, understand that this could still resonate with you, well, with you for you even though i'm speaking to the sign of ophiuchus now we could talk about some astrology things here in this reading keep in mind that if i am talking about astrology i speak about it through the system or the discipline of true sidereal astrology um, but if you are watching that this reading for Ophiuchus, then you're probably familiar with that anyway. So I guess I don't need to reiterate that for you. Yeah, um, I am available for private readings and private sessions. If you would like to get a chart analysis with me in terms of true sidereal astrology, I am available for that. But I'm also available for general energy readings using the tarot uh, and oracle cards or a love reading if you're interested in that as well. All of the readings that I offer can be found in the description box below. Just shoot me an email, which, uh, which is in the description box below as well. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up, yeah? All right, Ophiuchus, um, I think that's it. Let's get into this energy for you, yeah? All right, so what have we got going on for Ophiuchus? What messages do we have for Ophiuchus at this time, please, spirit? Um, okay, your healing element is really standing out. Um, and what I'm getting with that, Ophiuchus, is that um, you are healing other people. What I want to say about that, though, is this feels like you're healing others just by being you, just by standing in who you are. Okay, first card you have here is broken open. So um, I feel like you guys actually... Um, uh, whomever is resonating with this, you either just recently started to get into the healing arts or um, there is a, or or there is a reason why you are needing to heal this person. If there, I, I feel like you could be focusing on healing a specific person um, because of an awareness that you have that you have come to about something, about something that needs to be healed, something that needs to be fixed, something that needs to be changed. Um, but this also could be not necessarily like a specific person. It could, but just be the general public. Some of you may actually be getting into, um, like I said, the healing arts. Some of you may have decided or have discovered the fact that a wish that you have, your next card you have here is wish upon a star. A wish that you have or a dream that you have, I'm very much getting the star energy from the tarot, um, is about getting into some sort of healing modality. Recognizing that you have some sort of healing proclivity and now starting to uh, explore that, whether that be in like, you know, energy healing or whether that be actually like studying, getting into the medical field. I am feeling that specifically. Let's get one more card for you. One more card for Ophiuchus here. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be healing, okay? Um, I am, I was picking up on that healing element to you, Ophiuchus. You are very much a, a transmutative energy, an alchemist type of energy. Um, so it doesn't necessarily have to be that you're looking to get into the healing arts. It could just be that you have been broken open in some way. You've gone through some sort of healing in some way. You've been able to heal some sort of aspect of yourself in some way that is putting you into greater alignment with what it is you wish for. Also, what I'm getting with this Ophiuchus, this he wish upon a star energy here is however it is you've been broken open, whatever has been broken over, open for you and what that's translating into, you are really being encouraged to wish upon a star. Okay, really focus on what your end goal would be here in terms of what has been broken open for you and wish for it. Truly allow yourself to really, truly wish for it and also believe that it is possible for you to accept and receive. I am picking up on that star energy from the Tarot, which is all about um, 
following some sort of inspiration or some sort of higher guidance and not necessarily knowing at all how it is you're going to get there, but also having faith that you will get there should you follow through with your intuition and or the guidance that you're receiving that's directing you in a certain to a certain point or to a certain outcome really i really want to also encourage you to believe that this is possible that your wish fulfillment in terms of this is in fact possible okay let's go deeper what's going on here for ophiuchus please yeah okay so the first card you have here is discover and I really feel like, I really truly feel like Ophiuchus, you have discovered something about yourself. I want to also say the nature of reality. I'm also hearing the law of attraction is on your side here. Maybe you just discovered the law of attraction. Okay, that's been broken open for you. That, that element, that doorway has been broken open for you. And now you're being guided to work with this, to use this. This is a lot. I'm going to take it though. Emotions come together opportunity love you go within overthinking community and playfulness wow that's a lot of energy <laughs> this is a lot of cards over you because i'm going to do my best to channel this in the best way that i can um okay wait hold on a second hold on a second okay all right, so you have emotions, you have overthinking, you have discover emotions and overthinking. Let's start about, talk about this so far. Um, emotions might be really high for you right now. What I'm hearing is they have been very high. And because of those emotions, you are, have been overthinking, okay? And it may just be something, whatever it is that has you discovered, the opportunity that you have that you've discovered here, you have discovered, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, discover with opportunity. Whatever it is you that has been broken open for you, however it is you've been broken open here, it is, uh, it is providing you with an opportunity um, for something. It is providing you with a point of view, a perspective that has helped you discover some sort of opportunity. And that may be really emotionally charged for you, which is causing you to overthink potentially how do i get this done i feel like feel like there's very much a rush of energy or a rush of emotions there may be even a frantic energy here for you in terms of uh, taking advantage of or following through with this opportunity that you have discovered okay Whatever it is you've discovered here, there is an opportunity for you to come together with a certain community or to help bring a certain community together. This could be someone here I'm picking up on. This could be someone that is getting into civil rights, the civil rights movement, which would be very much an Aquarian energy. But I do feel like that does also resonate with the healing modalities or the healing element to you. Possibility for healing. Okay. Okay. You also have here with this playfulness, love you and go within. So playfulness, go within here, Whoop. playfulness, go within and love you. But really, I'm reading this as love you, like I love you. So whatever it is you've discovered, whatever opportunity it is you have here, it's definitely coming from a place of love you loving someone okay i am i was in the very beginning of this i was picking up on yeah and then cleanses at the bottom of the deck okay i was picking up on for some of you here this is not necessarily a community of people but this is an actual specific person that you are desiring to help heal why because you love this person maybe it is you've discovered that you love this person and what it is you may be trying to do is you have you have discovered an opportunity or you may be discovering coming across an opportunity to help this person find a community or maybe even to bring this person into your community or into a community that can really help them heal. Now, your final advice or guidance here in terms of this energy is go within and playfulness. So in terms of the overthinking here, like of having discovered this opportunity um, and trying to figure things out, in order to combat this overthinking energy, Ophiuchus, you're really, re you're required. 
and um, encouraged to go within because the answers are within you. Again, you are uh, a truly healing energy, okay? You are the transmuter. You are the type of energy that can take poison, poison and or venom and transmute it into an antidote, okay? So really go within for your answers here, all right? All right, I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we're gonna get deeper into the situation for you. All right, show us what's going on for Ophiuchus here, please, Spirit. What's going on for Ophiuchus at this time? What messages do you have for Ophiuchus at this time? Ten of Pentacles is the first card out. So yeah, okay, this really could be a new career path for you. Tenth house energies. But this also could, this Ten of Pentacles could also represent the long road that you have in front of you. Whether this is you, I'm really picking up on for somebody here, you have decided to get into the medical field or some sort of healing art or healing modality. And that is going to take some time. Okay, it's a long process. A long process of studying and research and learning. But also, this could very well be a new career aspect for you. But also, this Ten of Pentacles could just represent the long-term goals of achievement that you have here. Bam. Knight of Wands. Inspiration. Yes. Yes, Ophiuchus. I'm definitely feeling you are very enthusiastic about this opportunity. Okay? And then with that, you have the Lovers. Okay. And overall... <laughs> Overall energy is death. Scorpio energy, okay? Um, a, a lot of people, a lot of people that study the energy of Ophiuchus often tend to equate Ophiuchus with, um, strongly with Scorpio energy, okay? Um, but really transformation here. I, I definitely could say that if there is a card in the tarot that would represent your energy, it absolutely would be death just to like right along the lines of Scorpio here, because this death card is all about transition, uh, a tra transition and transformation. And like I said, you are a very natural alchemist. Your energy is very much uh, naturally an alchemical, alchemically mutative energy, okay? I'm very interested in what this lover's energy is for you. The lover's technically represents a choice, a choice of vice or virtue, as you can see here with the man or Adam in front of the burning bush and the woman or Eve in front of the tree of knowledge. Uh, the man in, in front of the burning bush would be vice, the, uh, the, the, the woman or Eve in front of the tree of knowledge would be virtue. And basically what I'm getting with this energy for you, Ophiuchus, is that this is a choice of serving your highest good. But I also am feeling like this is a choice of you serving either the highest good of other people or maybe just this one specific person or a specific person or maybe a community of people. Okay. You are choosing to serve the highest good of another. Again, whether that be one person or multiple people. But I'm getting a little tripped up because I feel like that's just like, that's too basic. That's too easy. And maybe it's just that this choice you are making to follow along with this path to start this journey and the enthusiasm, the enthusiasm you are feeling or experiencing or have surrounding this energy it makes this choice like a no-brainer, you know? And it really could be a no-brainer here, Ophiuchus, because of the passion you have for this energy. Okay, let's dive deeper then. I want to start with the lovers, so we're going to clarify the lovers for you. Um, first, I will say the lovers is a Gemini energy. Um, and Gemini is ruled by Mercury. Mercury is going retrograde this month in September, starts September 9th and goes until about October 1st, uh, kind of October 2nd, eh, October 1st, October 2nd energy. Okay. So during this Mercury retrograde here, this would be a really great time for you to start to do that research. 
or for you to start the process of learning. Um, maybe for some of you, someone here that wants to get into the medical field, doing the research in terms of which school you would like to go to, which training program you would like to go into, which modality of healing you would like to, to start to learn. Clarify the lovers for Ophiuchus, please. Wow. More Scorpio energy. The first card you have here is the King of Cups. This really, honestly, Ophiuchus, I want to say this is a no-brainer. Because when you really think about it, this is you being emotionally mature, emotionally aware, having that emotional foundation to see this through, to make a very mature energy here. The King of Cups is very compassionate. And I would say he's, very much, he's just as much a healer as the Queen of Cups is. Okay? I'm just getting doctor vibes from this energy. Clarify the lovers. And I also feel like I want to say uh, this is really a no-brainer for you, Ophiuchus, because you have the emotional maturity and the emotional wherewithal to see this through, um, to make this choice. It might, I feel like the King of Cups here is representing for you, Ophiuchus, that you have recently grown up to a level of saying, no, this really is what I want to do. And I want to say with this King of Cups energy, you're ready for this. You have transformed enough because the King of Cups would represent Scorpio energy. But in that, it could also represent your energy here. There are some individuals that um, see your element as water. Others and in other individuals see your element as ether, right? Spirit. So this King of Cups energy could represent you, especially if you feel very closely tied to Scorpio energy, okay? You, you really resonate with Scorpio energy, all right? The next card you have is the Two of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles, wow, 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 wow. And the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, yeah, wow. Scorpio, not Scorpio, I'm so sorry. Um, Ophiuchus, overall energy though is the Two of Swords, interesting. Interesting, Two of Swords. Yeah, okay. And then underneath the Two of Swords is the Ace of Cups. And literally what I just heard when I saw that Ace of Cups is this is a no-brainer. So the Two of Swords for you is really, is not a bad thing. The Two of Swords is kind of saying to me that you don't have to deliberate about this. This is not a decision that you are making by an influence from the outside world. This is, an inf this is a decision that you are making by understanding how it is you feel within yourself. Okay, this is a very emotionally strong situation. You feel very emotionally connected to this, which is also influencing your sense of enthusiasm. Now, what I'm also getting with this, the lovers here is, repre is still representing a choice. The, the, the no-brainer aspect of this, Ophiuchus, is you saying, well, no, I know I want to go into healing somehow, or I know I want to help heal this person. So the choice, really, the choice that is still left to make, Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, is which modality or which method of healing, whether this is for a greater community of people or just for one specific person, somebody that is you truly love. It could also be you really have truly have a love for humanity or a love for this specific community. But the next choice to make here is which one to commit to. Which one do you, which modality do you want to master? King of Pentacles, okay? And then having the fortitude right? To see this through, to be consistent and to take this on. All right. So while yes, this is a no brainer for you in terms of going in this healing direction, ultimately the next choice for you to make, okay, now I understand the lovers here represents you choosing which modality is best or which method of healing is best for you. Okay. And so when it comes to that, you are being guided to go within. 
to help alleviate some of this overthinking energy that's going for you, all having all kinds of options swirling in your head, don't focus externally. Two of swords, overall energy. Don't focus externally. Go within and your spirit will guide you towards which is best for you. Really allow your intuition to guide you here, okay? Excellent. Uh, oh, I keep wanting to call you Scorpio. Excellent, Ophiuchus. Let's clarify the Knight of Wands next for you. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Ophiuchus, please, spirit. What is this Knight of Wands energy, this enthusiasm? Temperance. All right, so now also the Knight of Wands represents Sagittarius energy. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Hi, hi Jinxie. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. Are you okay? Well, if you want to come up, you got to come on this side. Well, all right. You got to let me finish this. <laughs> my cat just tried to jump up on the table and like my crystals are here. So she couldn't get up on this side. So she fell. All right. Anyway, what I was saying, um, and I was picking up on this when I saw the, the Knight of Wands, but I, I forgot to mention it. But the Knight of Wands does represent Sagittarian energy and also so does Temperance. And what I want to say about that is some of you may actually, I know actually a lot of you, a lot of the Ophiuchans that watch my channel here, you have close ties to Sagittarius energy. Okay. But really what I want to say to you is like some of you are Sagittarian Ophiuchus cuspers. But really... What I want to say to you about this, Ophiuchus, is to as um, the Sa Sagittarius uh, is ruler of the ninth house, and the ninth house. First of all, you might want to see what's going on in your ninth house, what's being activated for you in this during this time. What I'm hearing is that might help give you some really strong insight as to how you can move forward here or how you can greater understand this energy for yourself. But this also may be the effect of a ninth house activation because the ninth house represents higher learning, university, okay, traveling, expanding your mind, stepping out of your comfort zone and traveling to distant lands. So check out, for some of you, check out either what's activating, what's going on in your ninth house, or what other placements you may have in the constellation of Sagittarius, okay? And if you don't have access to your true sidereal birth chart, again, send me an email, and oh, I didn't say this to you, but send me an email and let me know, and I will be more than happy to send you your chart free of charge. And then if you like, we can schedule um, a, a, a session for you to, to talk about all that, okay? Clarify the Knight of Wands, please, for Ophiuchus. Oh, okay. Okay. Overall energy here is the Queen of Swords. Libra energy. And then what you have here, to clarify the Knight of Wands, along with Temperance, you have the Three of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Okay, in terms of working out temperance here, understanding how it is you want to be moving forward, what it is you want to be investing in, the, the, the message here, Ophiuchus, is to really go within, to really go within and focus on what is, what your heart what your spirit says is in greatest alignment for you. This Queen of Wands energy represents that um, the, the, the represents the law of attraction, actually, in my opinion, because the law of attraction is really all about getting into alignment, setting that vibration, getting into your vortex. If you listen to Abraham Hicks. And matching that energetic vibration to allow what it is you desire to, to gravitate towards you. So at least she, the Queen of Wands represents that passive side of the law of attraction. Because then when you're in that uh, alignment phase and you're allowing those opportunities to come to you, once those opportunities come to you, then you do still have to take action. And then that's the King of Wands element or side of the law of attraction, taking that action. But you're trying to figure out the best way to go about this. And really the message is your intuition is going to guide you here. With this Queen of Swords energy, 
Yeah, with this Queen of Swords energy, I'm getting outside influences here. Not allowing the external to tell you or dictate what this best mode of action is for you. Instead, cutting out the fluff, cutting out the noise, and really allowing yourself to listen to your heart. Truly listen to yourself here. That's where you're going to get your guidance in terms, to, in terms of how to move forward, okay? Which modality is best for you. Also, the Queen of Swords energy would help you with calming your mind and not overthinking the situation, okay? Really, truly listen to your intuition here. Focus on what would be greatest in alignment for you. What feels best for you? And it's, your, it's using your feeling place, your, your, your emotions as your compass to say, okay, I actually don't want to be in, I'm not in alignment with that because that doesn't feel good, but this does feel good. So that means that this is greater in, this is in, a, in greater alignment for me. Pay attention to that. Focus on that, Ophiuchus, yes? Finally, I want to close this out with the Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles for Ophiuchus, please. Eight of Wands. Oh my God, the star. There's that star energy I was picking up for you. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please. The Three of Pentacles and Justice with Libra. And then overall energy is the Queen of Pentacles. Really, all of this is saying, Ophiuchus, the, the Eight of Wands, the Star, the Three of Pentacles, and Justice, this is all confirming for you. I mean, this is a lot of cards to say something pretty simple, but this is all confirming for you that this is absolutely the right direction you, for you to be going in. So if any of you are apprehensive here, if part of this overthinking energy for you is like, do I really want to commit to this? Because this is a long-term commitment, okay? This is definitely not something that's going to happen overnight. This is going to take years of practice, basically, okay? So if any of you are still reluctant or are on the fence about pursuing this or, or really committing, get, committing to this, getting engaged with this, here's your confirmation. Here's your answer. This is absolutely the right direction for you to be going in, okay? You're probably going to find a lot of ease Things are probably going to flow very easily for you here. Eight of Wands, okay? And this is taking you towards your truest dreams. This is that star energy that I was picking up on you, picking up on for you here with Wish Upon a Star, okay? You're going in the right direction, absolutely. Getting into, this, this might be, you. some of you may actually even want to start you have dreams or goals of starting your own practice, starting your own business. That is very much in alignment for you, justice and Libra. This is bringing justice to you. It also is going to be bringing justice to the greater collective that you would serve here. Overall energy of the Queen of Pentacles is spirit encouraging, encouraging you to believe that you are worthy of this. You do have, you absolutely have what it takes to do this, okay? You have the king and the queen of pentacles showing up for you here. So really allow yourself to commit to this because this is absolutely the right thing for you, Ophiuchus. And this is so beautiful. I love this. I'm going to close this out for you here with um, Spirit is saying with the light worker oracle. All right. All right. Closing message for Ophiuchus, please, Spirit. Last shuffle. Closing message for Ophiuchus, please, Spirit. Which one? Okay. You have card number five. Karma clearing. And I do see this as a healing modality for you. I feel like some of you may actually may be looking to get into energetic healing or energy healing, okay? Um, you could be really desiring to help people clear karma, heal karma, heal themselves, okay? Let's read this. 
you are fast outgrowing a level of consciousness to which uh, are attached particular wounds, issues, and struggles. As you outgrow that consciousness, these issues will release their grip on you. You are receiving divine notice that karmic clearing is taking place through a combination of your own efforts and spiritual grace from the heart of the divine. It is time for an old wound to be released once and for all. And I really do feel like Ophiuchus, yes, you have gone through, I, like I said, you've gone through a transformation for yourself that has helped you re uh, realize that you want to be doing this. But really, I feel like this karma clearing is the, are the effects that you would like to have on the collective. You want to help. You want to be of service to help people clear karma somehow. All right. So that's even more confirma confirmation that you are absolutely going in the right direction. Congratulations. Just a second, Jinx. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I truly hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also hit the like button and leave me a comment in the comment section down below letting me know how this resonates for you. And if you would like to get any session with me, whether that is a, a true sidereal session or just an energy or love reading, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list my email address and all the readings that I offer, the sessions that I offer. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested and I will be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. With that said, Ophiuchus, I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>